Friday. Time to go. Not home. <laughs> no, Friday, we're going to leave here at Min Minden. I think I'm in Minden. Yeah, somewhere in Louisiana. We'll pull off here and go on over to Jackson, see if I can't get that throat on my back. I'm going to try to make it over to Yard in Oakwood. It'd be kind of close, I think. I'm still 200 miles away from Jackson, so. So that being said, let's put her in the wind and get going. Uh, I've got till 10 to pick it up, but the sooner the better, you hear me? So, I'm gonna grab a shower today after I get loaded. Uh, mornings are rough on me, people. I just, bear, bear with me, it's rough. So, I will check back in with you guys whenever I get over here and we'll go from there. quick made it here to Jackson I right, go in here and check in see if we can't get these put on the trailer and get them tied down get them covered up and then head over to Oakwood I will update you guys about the load as soon as I get it figured out
All right, real quick here. I was in kind of a hurry. <laughs> they had me do everything inside there, and then it caught, there wasn't nobody around. And of course, whenever I got everything spread out, everybody showed up. So I only got four coils. It was only 20,000 pounds. That's every time I picked this stuff up, Middletown, Ohio, it is a lot heavier. But uh, I will. I'm gonna ease on over that way. I'm gonna try to make it over there tonight. I don't. I was gonna stop and get a shower, but I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna wait and try to get over there and uh, take my tent over there. And I'll grab a shower at the yard in the morning whenever I get over there. So, but yeah. I'll show you guys what I got when I get over there. I won't be as pressed for time then neither. So, but yeah, that's what we got. Stick around. Like the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. And share it. Tell everybody about it. Yeah, all that stuff real fast. All right, I stopped. I don't know where I'm at. That's one thing I don't like about Lisa. She don't tell me. She don't tell me where I'm at. And sometimes, it, she don't tell me the city I'm in. I was trying to, they got my stuff sent to me. I think that's the one for the last load. Look here and see. I went ahead, I got my fuel, and I went ahead and decided to go ahead and grab a shower real quick. I just, I didn't want to not work, no more, or not wait. Better cut her. Nope, that's it. Start. But yeah, that's where we're at now. I keep forgetting to mute that every time I start this. Um, drive. Uh, yeah. Send. No. Okay. This is always fun stuff. Uh, metal coder. I guess I need to put this stuff in here, don't I? Huh. N -V -L. So yeah, I went ahead and grabbed that. As far as it looks right now, I should be able to make it over there still, as long as I don't have any traffic problems. Hopefully I'll make some, I don't know how she said. it. I don't know what their speed set like, so I don't know how close the time is. So, yeah, that's where we're at on that deal. No. Okay. So I will check back in with you guys. I'm not looking at the camera because I'm looking at my people now. That works. The park. There we go. So, I'll check back in you guys. Hopefully, like I said, I'll make it over there tonight. And if I do, I'm gonna go ahead and get it all undone. And then just shut down, take my tent there. Get up and go to the yard tomorrow. So, yeah, I feel a lot better now I got a shower. Right, I needed one. So, but I'll check back in with you guys. Be careful. Oh, stay safe, whatever. I'll see y'all here in a little bit.
that is what you call expedited same day service. That's what I shoot for, to do the best I can do. Pulled around this other side. I didn't get my camera started. I was gonna do like I've been normally doing, show it a little bit before, or show a little bit after I leave, and then show a little bit before where I'm, as I'm coming into where I'm stopping, delivering, yada, yada, yada. But I was trying to get over here and didn't hit the button right, so anyways. Uh, I pulled around to the other side, kind of backwards, what I've normally been doing when I come in here. We got uh, them boxes right there. Uh, these loads, like I told you before, they're nice because they're preloaded, they're strapped, everything. All we got to do is hook to them and go. But we've got these boxes here, and we've got two boxes at, at our, our yard in Cartersville, and they uh, we have to leave their straps here so me being me I work smarter not harder call me lazy call me what you want but I pulled around here because I've got them in the box on the trailer and the box on the trailer is lined up within two boxes so that's what you call kind of thinking with the old noggin there so I'm gonna pull around or I'm gonna put them in the boxes and then I've got to pull around the other side I don't know if you guys remembered or not the other day when I come in I went under a canopy. I've got to drop the trailer there, untarp it, and then take off in the morning and go to Cartersville. So when I get around there, I think there's enough light to where I can show you guys what I ended up getting. And the tarp, the tarp job is horrible. I don't know what happened there. Every time I load these things, I tell myself, you know, this is the way you need to do it. It's the way it works. But then when it comes time to tarping it, old Nathan here, he wants to go through and he wants to try to do different things and, and make it work better, but it don't ever work. And I, I, I always end up saying you should have known what you're going to do first. So, anyways, I don't, I'll don't. i let you glance at the tarp job, but I'm, I'm glad it was night most of the time I was driving tonight because I was ashamed of it. But... I'll show you that and then I'll I'll actually I'll set the camera up on the tripod and show the as I'm untarping it and then the whole process. I'll I'll, I'll get y'all covered there. And then I'll check back in with you guys before I call it a night and we'll go from there. Hang around.
like a flash on, on my camera. This one time was actually kind of nice because those work lights are pointing up there. <laughs> so, but there's the tarpon job. Can't see much. Like I said, it's dark. And I just done that. I normally, I don't like doing that. Uh, I'm not a big strap on the tarp guy. But I was in a hurry, like I said earlier. Now, this is why I don't like it. It does all that bunching up. But that's what I've got there. So I will go ahead and untarp it real quick and show you guys what it looks like untarped. I just use straps on these because they're just little coals. And that's, they're skidded coals, what they're called. And that's that's one of the things that we've always done. You can use chains on them, so you gotta have extra edge protectors and whatnot. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when I get in tarp. There's the coals. There's only four of them, and they only weigh 20,000. Now, when I said we hauled them different from Middletown, they were uh, maybe another two foot taller than that. They, well, they was different sizes most of the time, and they were all down the middle. So. The way I always done those is similar to the way I got these. Um, there's three straps on the front set, 
and then two on the back. But on the ones that were in the middle, uh, back when I picked them up Middletown, I'd do three on the front, and then most of the time I'd just put one on those in the middle, just depending on the weight. Um, DOT says you gotta have half the working, working load limit, so that wasn't that hard to do, because they weren't very heavy. But these three, um, these two, they're crossed on top. I'll just go up there and show you. It'll be a little easier. I'm trying to explain it. These three are the two, those two, they cross. And then the one in the middle just goes straight across. And then those back two are crossed. Uh, kind of helps keep them from moving. Going all cattywampus craziness. So, but that's what that is. That's what I hauled. Now I'll get the straps off and get them rolled up. Then I'll call tonight. I'll check back in with you real quick, y'all. Call it a night, set the brakes, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to do some paperwork real quick so I can scan these past two loads in. Like I said, I try my best to, to I mean, take a picture of that. Hmm. Whoops. I'll have to take one. Upload it on my Instagram. Go over and follow me, Nate underscore gone underscore trucking. No G on there. So, no G on the trucking. Trucking, T R U C K I N. <laughs> that was just way too much work right there. So, I will. I'm going to get up in the morning, take off, and bobtail over to the yard in Cartersville. They said something about uh, UAC load paperwork. I don't really understand it because most of the time those are in the trailers and they said that it would be two of the dispatchers would have it but I, I don't know I'll figure that one out tomorrow I guess and figure out where we're going from there um, I got I got a sign of the uh, DV no 
I can't never remember what that thing's called. It's where they run my MVR. They gotta do it every year. And it's always this time of year. I gotta sign that saying I ain't done nothing or I agree to it. I don't know what I gotta sign for it. But you have to do it every year. And then uh, I gotta pick up, <laughs> I gotta pick up that money that I was talking about the other day. And there comes an empty truck on the trailer. Hmm. So we'll figure out where we're going to park now because I bet he's going to want this parking spot. He might not. There's one over there. I bet he's going to get that loaded trailer that was beside me. He got her shined up looking good. So, but yeah, we'll figure all that out. I got to pick up my gift card. The free money that I got for not speeding none. And then I got to get my cab card and they won't be there to do any of the inventory. I don't, I'll be stuck with what equipment I've got, I think. So we'll get by. I've got enough to get by. So I don't know. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Uh, guys, you be careful if you're trucking. The last mile was the hardest, and keep your knees in your breeze now. Wait, keep your knees in the breeze. There we go. We'll catch you around tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, tell all your neighbors and friends and all that good stuff. We'll see you tomorrow now.